Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another episode. I'm not sure how many of you guys are going to be interested in this video, but usually you guys uh, show some supports for the uh, player of the month card. So I kind of figured uh, why not? Because the card doesn't look that bad for a physical type striker, to be honest with you. Some people will be like, hey, but this card's like 5'10", 5'11", blah, blah, blah. Guys, when I say physical type striker, by default, I already mean that these cards are not usually ideal for the meta of the game, but sometimes they actually end up being nice. Like, for instance, Ronaldo is a physical type striker, but he's actually pretty solid in this game, right? So with Laborde, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'11", high, high work rates, left footed, three star skills, four star weak foot. So obviously right off the bat, you have to use this card in the left striker position for a 4'4'2", mostly because of the fact that he is a left footed player. Uh, In-game player traits. He actually has the outside foot shot traits, which is pretty cool. In-game attributes, we're going to be working with 89 for acceleration at a 93 for sprint speed because base card stats for shooting on this card is pretty decent, especially if you're going to work for the high percentage strike angles as much as possible. However, if you don't care about the pace on the card, you can totally give him a finisher chemistry style to boost his agility, balance, and dribbling as much as possible, but it's mainly in the shooting excuse me, that you want to improve as much as possible inside of the 18 yard box. Uh, because he is a player that is 5'11 with physical characteristics, right? 90 for strength. He's going to be the type of player that's actually been pretty solid in the air as well at 96 for jumping and then 99 for heading accuracy. So that's actually pretty solid if some of your crosses actually come off in an accurate way. A card like this, guys, you can actually use for fun in a 4 one 2 and 2 playing in that center mid area as a player that can attack and defend because of that physical presence that he potentially has, right? So in that 4-2-2 and two and two that I showed you guys where you can use like different players in it and actually have fun with it, uh, a card like this would actually fit it well. Why? Because he has the high, high work rates. On an engine chemistry style, he makes a good midfielder. The only problem is that he has no defensive stats, but you would just work with his height and physical as much as possible, right? Uh, with his base card stats for passing, it is pretty decent. An engine chemistry style is going to improve it a little bit more as well. Base card stats for dribbling we will be experimenting with because, like I said, physical type striker, but he does have the average body type, which we do have to experiment with in-game. Uh, and then last but not least, again, physical stats, very, very good on this card. So the team that we have here is actually pretty well-balanced for a 4-4-2, uh, a but we're going to use it in a 4-2-3-1 to test out his attacking AI and all that kind of stuff. So we'll just do this. This guy... Stay back, yeah, and then you're going to be on balanced. Okay, so it'll be that. And then um, I might actually switch to a 4-4-2 depending if I have to see specific things on him. So, yeah, let's try him out. Oh, check out this dude's team, eh? This guy's this guy an icon fiend, bro. He's an icon fiend. Oh, my goodness. I managed to score with him. I actually... Huh. Okay. Uh, listen. That dribbling do be rough, though. <laughs> Holy. I'm hoping that he would have the attacker advantage there from that, uh... Oh, I'm actually scoring with him. Yo, we're scoring goals with him, guys. Hey, man, at least his animations for shooting doesn't take as long as Goran Pondev's. Oh, my goodness. For the timing, I could not get it down with him. What? Was that a save? Oh, that animation, bro. I was like, what was that animation? I was so confused. Oh, I thought I was gonna score that again. I was like, bro, you gotta relax, my G. You know what, dude? If I hit it with greens, he really hits it to the side position, eh? That one I mistimed. Better check with the save there. Ooh, I actually timed that one too. Oh, see? So if you actually watch my, my uh, controller right there, 
trying to use the left stick to go up down really quickly like he's just not gonna be that type of guy obviously pass it up lob pass not a lob pass but a little bounce pass so I'm obviously using him as a lone striker, but like I was saying earlier, this is a two striker type of guy because of the physical aspect that you do have to work with. That one I mistimed as well, but he still hits it okay. I mean, when his shots come off, they're actually like not bad. First time. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to like fly like Superman, just try to get that ball in the air. Oh, hello. A lot pass. Yeah, when you hit him on the green, guys, he really does hit it to the side. That's actually pretty solid. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. No, I try to get the shot cancel right there. That L1 R1 lob pass is disgusting, by the ways. Okay, so we have changed to a a 442. So we're gonna see what he's like in that two striker formation. Oh <laughs> yeah, just don't do skill moves with him. No chance. You guys know that thing I tested the skill moves where I do a skill move and then a first time left stick? No chance there. I honestly thought he scored that. The free kick. What are we looking at here? 89 curve. He puts people on the wall. We go for the free kick tactic. Does it work though? First time. What is that save animation? Just L trigger, bro. Trust me. With these physicals, I got these physical guys, you just got L trigger, bro. Ah, maybe he destroys him and he goes inside the net. Who knows? Oh, the two striker formation. The two striker. Oh, did he challenge it? He did. Wow. a white time shot let's go great finish man uh i should have uh i don't know I, I maybe i should have timed that one too the movement was good though guys he's not he's not terrible as a two two striker uh wow that animation i did not expect uh he's not terrible as a two striker formation uh in the two striker formation Try to work some dribbles there. Didn't work out, though. He does have the physical for those ones. Cross it. First time. Not bad. Angle is terrible there to score that, so. Oh, I really thought he was going to score that. I really thought he was going to score that. Guys, for more consistent finishing, if you don't care about pace, which honestly, for a card like this, you shouldn't, give him a finisher, bro. Oh, that first time touch was weird. And he also falls from the past, too. Little rough, little rough. Touch! There it is! Little dagger of a touch in the air. Okay, my boy. Good finish. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Laborde Player of the Month card. So, guys, uh, the chemistry style that you give a card like this is really going to depend on... The formation and tactic that you're using right so obviously i was using the 442 but it's with the forward runs tactic right so with the forward runs tactic excuse me on the high high work rates guys to be fair there are moments where he actually makes some pretty solid runs so because he makes some pretty solid runs with the engine chemistry style it's definitely gonna be the most ideal for the 89 acceleration 93 for sprint speed uh while you know boosting a little bit of his dribbling and his passing stats uh in the forward runs tactic again he does find himself in some good opportunities. We've got some lob passes to him uh, because he's physical oriented. Sometimes he gets a pretty decent first time touch to go for a strike immediately. That's great to work with, right? But if you're using pretty much any other tactic information, right? Like you're using a 4-1-2-1-2 or you're using 
something that's not as aggressive. Uh, a finisher chemistry style is going to make the most sense because you're still going to improve his dribbling by a little bit, but you're also going to be boosting his finishing as much as possible, which to be honest, if he shoots the way that he does on an engine chemistry style, the finishing actually might be really, really nice on the finisher to boost it as much as possible to get some consistent strikes with him on his four star uh, weak foot or on the left foot, right? Because the fact that he's a left footed player is fantastic to play him in that left striker area. Um, I like the way that he moves in a 4 4 2. Again, with physical type strikers, you don't want to touch the ball too much with them, but we experiment with the dribbling anyways for the sake of the review, obviously. Uh, but I guess if I were to use him in my team, for me personally, guys, I would sacrifice not giving him the finisher for a better general experience with a little bit of extra pace, a little bit of extra dribbling to help out the fact that he's physical oriented uh, while giving him some extra passing while working with decent base card sets for finishing. Because to be honest, if you hit the green time shots with him or you hit really good angles, he's actually not bad at hitting the shots with his left foot if he does get into the right situations at the right time, right? So, uh, but like I said, for most tactics, I viewed in the eyes of the people that are usually going to use him. A finisher could be super ideal to improve his finishing as much as possible. Um, it's definitely a concept SBC, guys. Nothing crazy special about this card. Um, you know, he's a physical oriented striker that's a little bit tough to work with because of dribbling uh, for base characteristics, right? Because obviously 80 agility with 71 balance does not help him whatsoever. But uh, if you want to use him for fun as an SBC in that way, you could definitely do that. But there's just not much special. There's nothing like too special about a, a card like this in the team, for sure. It's just a card you use for fun, uh, mainly in that two striker formation. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.